No, no, okay. no. Oh, we're about to get started. Welcome back to Tech Expo 2018. We're here with the next presenter, Erica Hargreave, and she'll be here talking about uh, building um, communities in online classrooms. So please tell us more, Erica. Yeah, well, so I both teach online courses and then I'm also a part of an online master's program right now. And uh, it can be really isolating when you sort of first enter that environment if you don't establish a community and allow people those spaces so that they feel like they're connecting and that they're engaging with other people and building friendships and collaborations and things like that. And so I know that, um, you know, from the perspective of an online teacher, uh, for me, it's almost like you have to go back to like, you know, the thing you do in grade school when you enter a classroom where you have those icebreaker activities at the beginning where everybody introduces themselves so you see faces and you learn a little bit about your fellow students, but you also similarly see the faces and learn a little bit about your fellow teacher or your, your, your sorry, your teacher in the class. Um, and then you know, one of the things I've been finding through that online teaching too is that one of the key ingredients that is like the most important thing in my class is the discussions. And uh, so I, I actually make it a big part of, of the marks is uh, the, you know, students engaging in those discussions and not just, you know, sharing, you know, whatever the question, answering the question, whatever it is that I pose, but uh, but also engaging with other people's content within there. And then it's so important for me as the instructor to similarly engage in that space. And that was one of the things that I've learned, you know, as a student in an online program is if the teacher's not engaging back, you kind of feel like that teacher's not really there. And <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and it's interesting because I've actually, I, I was, I sort of didn't want to sort of start teaching in those environments in the longest time because I didn't think I'd have the same relationship with my students. Um, but the reality is, is I've, uh, I'm finding I'm creating really close relationships with my students and then also now with my fellow um, classmates uh, in the MET program. And so uh, one of the things, and I think we've got our Facebook uh, feed up or up on the, um, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, did it go down? Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, one of the things that I do for, for the Master of Educational Technology program that I'm in is I'm the community manager for the various different online spaces for the students. And so um, when I sort of stuck the different books on the table and the tea and things like that, that was just kind of all just to make a point of uh, one of the things that we do in this space is you need this space to be a fun space so that the students come to it. If it's too academic a space uh, and they have to sound like really fancy pants academic whenever they're here, they're not going to come. It's just going to be another chore for them where these spaces need to be a space where they can connect on different levels. And so some of the levels are on kind of more educational things, but some are just fun. So we're having our first in-person uh, course next week. And so some students are coming in from out of town for that. So I've I'm going with uh, one of the people who's involved in the course for a picnic and wine down at the um, at uh, the symphony in the park. So I thought, why not invite everybody who ever and people who aren't even taking the course but are a part of the program. So I don't know how many will show up, but <laughs> yeah. more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. Um, um, and then you know we'll get you know people sharing on new technologies and on conferences and different opportunities and things like that that are out there. And sometimes it'll just be fun stuff. So. Uh, for example, um, right now we've got one of our s alumni who's in The Amazing Race, so she's been kind of sharing a little bit of a buzz about that, or, you know, we had a film in a film festival in Toronto and they gave us a bunch of discount codes that they said I could share with, you know, my community, so it meant I could, you know, if anybody wanted to go out to the, the films in Toronto, you know, here was a, a much cheaper way for them to do it. So it's kind of all about that. And so. Um, some of the spaces that we're now creating too are also about starting to promote our different um, students out there in the broader broader world. So our latest addition with that is building a YouTube channel where we can really start to play with SEO. So students have been creating a lot of great videos to the course, but they don't understand a lot of them how to broadcast themselves and how to get their content out there. So that's one of the things that if they want to share the video with our channel, then that's one of the things we'll start to grow and really start to, I mean, there's some amazing people that are doing some incredible things uh, in uh, in the program and so but no, you know often even in the program we don't know about these mm -hmm. things and yeah. so so that's kind of one of our goals is to really start to exactly exactly 
Thank you very much for chatting with us, Erica. It's great to have you on board. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks.